He entered that fund. Oh Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation, from age to age, you are. Good morning. Good morning. Today's mass intentions are Beth Rush. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. chasing effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. From all your distress, God, rescue the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him, you may be radiant. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord has eyes for the just, and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers, evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of heaven's glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, children, children like to help their parents. I can remember the joy I would feel when my mom would say, "Come on, I need your help. Come, come, need you. I need your help." And I'm reminded of this when I see her with my niece. Right, my mom will be cooking dinner and say, "Come, come on, I need your help." Well, the truth is, my mom doesn't need my six-year-old niece's help to cook dinner, uh, but out of love. She invites her because she knows the joy that it gives her to participate in this, this activity with the grandmother, uh, with our parents. It gives us joy to participate in that activity. Uh, so too, uh, this is what our God does for each one of us. He loved us so much that he gave Jesus, he gave us Jesus, to live among us, to participate in our lives. And today we hear, we see uh, Jesus teaching his disciples how to pray how to participate in his prayer to God the Father. He says, when you pray, say, Our Father. We share with Jesus in calling God our Father. And even more profoundly, we share in the prayer of Jesus at each Mass, each time we celebrate the liturgy of the Eucharist. We enter into that, that true present sacrifice of Jesus, present at the Mass. Jesus who offered himself, we too offer ourselves to the Father. Whatever we may be carrying, we may, we may be um, holding in our hearts, we offer that as a sacrifice to God. The Eucharist is not just a remembrance, it's a true presence of Jesus. And in the Eucharist, we participate in the prayer of Jesus to God the Father. In the Eucharist, we were transformed by the living grace of Christ's sacrifice. We are nourished by his body and blood. We are strengthened in our faith to continue to go forth and to live calling God our Father as his disciples in the world. So as we come today uh, sharing as his beloved children, he doesn't need us to pray, he doesn't need us to share in his life, but he wants us to. He wants us to share because he loves us, because it brings us joy, lasting fulfillment, the Eucharist. So as we come to our God today, we participate with Jesus in that sacrifice, we bring him the, the sacrifices of our hearts that we may go forth and continue to call God our Father. United as children in Christ, we offer the following prayers. <coughs> For our bishop, priests, and deacons, May God bless them with wisdom to boldly proclaim his holy word. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For elected officials, may God move their hearts to act with justice and protect the vulnerable, especially the elderly and the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all who struggle to forgive, may Jesus may Jesus' example on the cross enable them to extend mercy let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For our peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, to the religious life, and to the permanent diaconate in our diocese, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, you hear the prayers of your children who cry out to you in their need. Hear the prayers of those gathered here today through your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Through you, beautiful God of all creation, with your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you will become for us the bread of life. to you, Lord God of all creation. But through your goodness, you have given us this wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. <laughs> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, so as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, holy and holy, holy, holy. by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered as you want by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church who spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we hear him say, I shall be I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shed an ever my room, but only to say the word. gave me answer. From anguish you release me. Have mercy, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Amen.
us pray. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Bow down for a blessing. May your faithful be strengthened, O God, by your blessing. In grief, may you be their consolation. In tribulation, their power to endure. And in peril, their protection. Through Christ our Lord. Quick announcement, the, the praise and prayer group will meet in the back of church this evening at 7 p.m. A great chance to uh, sing, praise to God, uh, share, and also have a small teaching on the faith. So you're all invited. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Say, my Lord, the Lord be with you. May I protect you against the wickedness and sins of the May I rebuke you in the prayer, and thou will the heavenly host.